going to end up that I have to translate this on the plane or something. Uh, but uh, let's go as far as we can. Uh, then they're talking about the motivation with which you should take the vow, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it says, Sambadi Nyamdu. So think to yourself, okay? Think to yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very colloquial way to start a uh, inner conversation. Kare. Kare. So what's mm. kare mean? Kare. Uh, what? Yeah, what. what, what is and uh, mm. very, very idiomatic. You say yeah. kare means it. Now what's up? Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> it, it means like that, and it's it's like it's like kare. You know, what's, what's up in my life? Okay, what's up? Dakso namke tana nyembe senjin. Me, etc., meaning uh, every living being in the universe, as far as the universe stretches, equal to the stretching of the universe. Namka tana nyembe senjin nam. All of us, tomma mepane, for time with no beginning, tate bardu. Uh, up until the present moment. Chir generally speaking, uh, sansara, cycle of life, and kepar, okay, misspelled, and more, more particularly, uh, uh, the suffering of the three lower realms, uh, yugyu uh, nothing more than that, Chang Mepa, uh, countless times. Young Du Sin. Past tense. Yeah, we have uh, in the past. Countless times. Uh, you know, in the. Uh, so, up to now. But, Kyan, okay. Tadung Kyo Dang. Still, Tadung. Still, oh. up to the no. present moment, okay. Uh, kyo wa, what's kyo wa, do you know? Uh, 
over to it. Um, Great. Yeah, good. Grace. Very nice. good. <laughs> Word, you got competition. Uh, no one means, uh, not really. <laughs> no, I just mean he's. A, no, one can, no one can fight with someone whose name is Word. Uh, so, Kyoadang. Sumba means uh, hassled, inconvenience, uh, something like that. Like it's similar to Sinjimba, but uh, here Sumba means uh, inconvenienced or troubled. Lo kechi kyan mikewar. You translate that. Mm, each uh, each moment, mind. Each huh? uh, moment. Moment of mind. Kichi. Yeah. Moment, moment Single mind. moment of mind, which thinks kyowa and Sumba. Uh, discouragement. discouragement. Yeah, which is fed up yeah. with this. Trial and tribulation. Kei chikyan. But for one moment, I'm not. Yeah, I, didn't, I haven't felt yeah. for even a moment okay. that I had enough. <laughs> you know, like, okay, let's get out of here. I, you know, I didn't think, I, I didn't feel it. So, gay in English, we don't say generate a thought, okay? Uh, oh, this is sad. Uh, yeah. Dewa. I've been thinking of thinking sad. Happiness. Suffering things are happy. Yeah. I've been I've been thinking that uh, the things which actually cause pain were were fun or pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I've also been thinking dark mela That Selflessness and that the holding self, to a self which doesn't exist uh -huh. does exist. Yeah, I've been I've been grasping mm -hmm. to a pen that comes this way when uh -huh. it, when there's no such pen or people mm -hmm. or husband or whatever. Jimbe <laughs> long man long shore. This long shore long end means bad state of mind, mind right? Evil mind. Uh, long shore means gang long shore, uh, and it's uh, it's an idiom. So you should, don't ask me how to spell the Kyung, yeah. you can look it up. It's K, it's definitely first column, K-Y-A-N-G. It's probably B-S-K-Y, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's very, very colloquial, and it means to get into a bad habit. Kyung Long Short, you know. Uh, he came to class, she came to class late once, and then she did it again, and then she did it again, and now she's Kyung Long Short. Now she's got this bad habit. Okay. Uh, that's called Kyung Long Shun. So he just used Long Shun. Uh, meaning, I got this bad habit. What? The, the things that are actually suffering, I'm trying to get. Like contracts. And then the things that are, <laughs> the things that are not coming from their own side, I hold them to coming from their own side. Okay. I got into these bad habits. And D2, instrumental. By, by, being by the power, with yeah, this, by the, the power, power of the mystical yeah. power. And two again means like, dope means power, right? <coughs> and Wang yeah. means power. Yeah. But two means like mystic power. Juju. Or vu, yeah, juju. <laughs> juju. 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 Juju, yeah. yeah. <laughs> two, uh, and due to the power of this, you know, bad attitude that I got in the habit of, uh, I have now. Here's the <coughs> shenlong used in a in a colloquial sense. Oh, wow. So it's good to uh, if you were going to write a dictionary entry for shenlong mm -hmm. as a mind-only school attribute. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah, I think it's cool to go get uh, a normal usage of the word so people can get the feeling. Like if you if you're going to have a dictionary entry, if you're going to write a dictionary entry for uh, Skanda for heap. Uh -huh. It'd be nice to, to quote the Abhidharma where is where Pumbo is explained, mm -hmm. the literal meaning. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have to go to another text where they talk about pile of leaves uh -huh. or something. And then you would have you know, uh -huh. hypertext. Uh -huh. It's what the Oxford English Dictionary did. Right. That was their big achievement. So anyway, here's the normal use of Shenwang. So Shenwang in the mind only school means what? Uh, that which is empowered by some other like dominant. 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 Yeah, I like to call it dominant. I'm not sure about that translation because of the connotations, but yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, that the the tree is dominated by the seed. 
Um, the tree is totally dependent on the seed. If the seed is genetically wrong, the tree will be defective. You see what I mean? So here, uh, I'm under the shenwang of Le and Yomong. Uh, karma, and karma, and karma and negative emotions, mm. right? Uh, because of the mystic power mm. of this bad habit I've gotten into. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, Shen Wang Zhu Song means this song is past tense of. Uh, draw. Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah. It's similar to English. Yeah. Uh, went. Go and went. Mm-hmm. You know, no, no relationship. I mean, no obvious relationship. So, but here it means. Mm. I've ended up in, okay, it's an idiom, song, song means I ended up in, oh, ended under up. the power, <clears throat> I have come to be under the power of, of karma and negative emotions, okay, uh, and so, me, so I'm going to cut it there, uh, uh La Yang. La Yang. Uh, um, so furthermore. Uh, yeah, uh, one more time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what he's going to say. Yeah, yeah, one more time. I'm going to have to cordon Nguyen Song Gi Dung Yang, the suffering of the lower realms. Sansara, and, and more particularly the, lower realms. the three lower realms, mm-hmm. which is Sukha. Um, su- Supa. 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 So, so, yeah, difficult to endure. And yeah, difficult to bear. Argumentative? No, no, no. <laughs> That's zopa. Uh, so this is patience. Oh, uh, uh, to bear. Uh, uh, Lama zopa. <laughs> That's an interesting mispronunciation of Sankaran's name because it depended on the uh, transcription, mm-hmm. and then he got stuck with that for the rest of his life. Doesn't it mean like spy or something? Yeah, so from me, spy. <laughs> uh, anyway, in Tibetan. Uh, anyway, Sukawa, this is difficult oh, no, suffering, no. difficult to bear. Narle Gyang Che, this is the comparative. Um, before it was more? Te, opposite. Um, now is less. I'm totally confused. More, much more than before. Much more. Okay, Che Che Mung. Probably. Che Che Mung. Much, much. Than before. This lay is not karma. This lay is than. T H A N. And this is misspelled. Okay, so uh, now I'm gonna have to run Wang Mepar. Now I'm gonna have to. No, I won't be able to. under my own power. Oh, now I won't have my own power. Yeah, run Wang means independent. Yeah, okay. it won't be. Uh, run Wang means uh, controlled by Helga. Independent, not not under someone else's domination. Okay, if you run Wang, run, it's like Shen Wang, right? Yeah. Rang Wang Mepa and Shen Wang is pretty much the same. So mm-hmm. helplessly, <laughs> yeah, helplessly, Shen. with you know, I don't have any choice. Helplessly, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna experience a much bigger. So in Tibetan, you also say a, okay, a much bigger amount of suffering than before. Okay, Nyong uh, Gu, I will have to experience. Okay, I will have to experience. Uh, then I split it here, uh, which is kind of. Sometimes you split it in the middle of a sentence, and it's cool. Mm. Okay, nang uh, di samna. Think, think over this con- situation you're in. So nang means the situation you're in. Nang is a difficult word that means a uh, condition, mm. and oftentimes it's nang do. It's not nang as in duck, okay? <laughs> right. Which is a different spelling. Yeah. Okay, mm. so. This nung tzu may be a good idiom. So nung tzu means uh, this condition or this situation, the way it lies. Okay, nung tzu this samba. Contemplate it. Oh, here's a very interesting, uh, a very interesting sentence here. Of course, there are interesting. Samna, uh, if if you really give this your situation some thought. Mm-hmm. Samna, uh, it is 
it would be appropriate, and here's the ur that was used for arhat, mm -hmm. ar, worthy. worthy to be bowed down to, is arhat, right? Here's that word ar in Sanskrit, mm -hmm. urpa in Tibetan. Hmm. And by the way, undem, to choose an ur, is the Tibetan word for voting. Uh -huh. You see, uh, uh, worthy. select the worthy. Uh, so it it would be appropriate for you to get lump. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, and here's the uh, here's the uh -huh. literary form of it. <laughs> Dung means to rise up, and uh, lung means lung, and ying means heart lung. Uh -huh. So it'd be appropriate for you to get a little bit crazy. Oh wow! You know, so wow. there's that that word that we can so much use in our room. Uh, <laughs> you know, ning ning dong. You can if you're not if you're feeling like I was last night, <laughs> you can say ning ning dong. Is it this the famous thing we always talk about? Yeah. This. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, ning ning ning. Then I had all the dishes. I got all the dishes. Yeah, I cleaned all the dishes. I'm I'm okay. And uh, I took a glass off this side of the uh, dish, rack. dish rack, and it unbalanced the whole thing, and it went, oh, and it, all the glasses smashed on oh, the floor. And then, uh, oh, that was so like terrible. the dessert. Yeah. Then, Ning Lung, Ning Lung Dang Wepa. Ning Lung Dang Wepa. Long you know, rose up in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> heart. Heart lung arose. Yes. <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> this is ning lung dung. This is the mudra. What is the what is the Nepar doing there before ning? Definitely. Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Heart. No, definitely. It's a it's a worthy condition. It and sutsam means uh, it could take you there. Tsutsam means it could take you there. It could take you to the point. Uh -huh. So tsu means measure, uh -huh. and sam means just that. It could take you to the point where you, where you definitely want to start getting lung. Uh -huh. So what's the it? Ning lung here Heart lung. Lung means a passage of uh, chi. Lung means chi. Oh. Uh, so heart chi. When you say heart chi comes yeah. up, it means you, you get like this. No words? How do you say yeah. 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 Like, yeah, in English, oh, how can we say, say it? <laughs> <laughs> you could have, a, have an anxiety attack. Yeah. Yeah. Anxiety attack? Yeah. Really? Okay. We call it okay. anxiety attack. Yeah. A person get like on an airplane, they think it's going to go down, and everybody's like, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, It means uh, when you practice too hard. And, Anyone who did a retreat can tell you about it. Uh, you know, you start going like this and you can't sleep, and your chest feels pain, and your hands are like this. But it's not without cool. Ben's coffee. But it's not cool, right? Oh. No, it's a, bad, yeah. it's a It's a danger. It's a danger. Uh, and it's unpleasant. Physically, you feel bad. You feel, your chest feels tight. And, and then you do stupid things and you say stupid things. Look how beautiful the sky is. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Unkyang, chumdinde, shakyam, misspelled. Tupang, masopang, manchin. Oh, this is really nice. Uh, this, by the way, this is how we're supposed to kunlong chut. Set our motivation. Yeah, before you take the vow. So, you know, this you should study. This uh, motivation setting is something you could teach, and that would be helpful for people. You could say, here's what T. John Rinpoche says about motivation study. And so you could work hard on this section. Unkyang, yeah. uh, but Chum uh, Day, the conqueror, Shakya Tupa, Lord of the of the Shakyas, okay, Shakyatuba, Shakyamuni, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this was misspelled, okay, Shakyamuni, our, our Buddha, Gautama, mm -hmm. Shakyamuni, Laksopa, etc. Nguyen Chun Sin. Chun is the high honorific for song. Uh -huh. Went? You come song. into this world. Oh, before you, see, you came into this world? No, the, the ones who have previously come into this world. Oh. Okay, the Buddhas 
who have come here before. Mm-hmm. That's what the last soap was. Uh, meaning, yeah, it makes it plural. One so and two. People like Gautama, Lord Buddha, the ones who previously the, came. Yeah, who who previously stepped into this world. Mm-hmm. It's a very poetic and high word for. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Like you can say, stepped into this world, or something. Oh. Set their lotus feet in this world. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jun Simba. Uh, okay. Yeah, come do. <laughs> okay. Did need to have already come. Who have who have already stepped into this world? Simba, Sangye Chum Den Day, and this is a beautiful uh, sentence. These these Buddhas, okay, Dei Da Kyang, those guys also. Mm-hmm. Those guys also, mm-hmm. Deda Kyang. Dumane is an idiom for Adam, Dumane. And it means uh, from the very beginning or from, from, what's another word for ancient times? In times of old. Back in the day. No, but <laughs> we're old, uh, older times. Older times. Yeah. Yeah. Older days. Days. Long past. No, it's almost from the beginning of time. What's oh. From the beginning of time. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, a, it's an expression in Tibetan. I mean, what's um, what's it? From, from, from the first? Seems forever. It's older than, yeah. Who said that? Awesome. What, what did he say? hot nowadays. What I don't know what's say? going on. <laughs> it must be the influence of uh, other people here. Where is he next to work? What did he say? What did he say? Huh? What did he say? Since forever. He said something. Since forever. Since forever. <laughs> since forever. Uh, sangye verb. Sangye, enlightened. Codified. Because now he repeats <laughs> sin. Why? We had duk duk in in, in to emphasize the, the pastness of it. Good, yeah. good. Uh, Back in the day, Mayin. Uh, oh, Mayin. What's it say? What's it say? Come on, you can figure it out. They didn't. Sangye. <laughs> uh, they didn't get enlightened. That doesn't Den- make sense. Didn't step into this world. Dimani. From the, since the beginning of times, yeah, they were not enlightened. So they, they, they didn't right, right, start right. out. Yeah, yeah, they didn't start out enlightened. That's right. They haven't been enlightened. Yeah, since yeah they didn't. Yeah, <laughs> they. Ago. It, it wasn't like a zillion years ago that they got enlightened. You know, yeah. oh, they were just like us. Right. Okay, and this has to be part of your motivation. You know, mm. we are the stupid guys in the class. <laughs> we are the last ones still in. Who didn't figure it out? <laughs> Seriously. At least we got a script turning. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least we got a script turning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Josh>. uh, <laughs> Oh, this gets more beautiful. Okay, Mun uh, means uh, in before. Okay, before. Those guys before. Doc Jot. Those guys uh, before. Us guys. Oh, us guys. Doc us guys. Doc Here's that Tsung, which we had in Tsung Den. So, uh-huh. um, we did just... We um, had mind and mental functions. Yeah, a comp- five linking. Linking. Yeah, yeah. Same. Oh, same. Same. So, so here it means... Goes along with... Doc Jot done Tsung. And guys, and guys. Oh, guys like They were the same as us. Uh-huh. Okay, they were the same as us before. Just as stupid as us. They stayed in samsara. <laughs> okay, yeah. Korwan, Korwan, Nepa. They, they were living in the in the real life. Okay. Yeah. They were staying in the real life. They made connections with teachers. Uh, and, yeah. But yeah. then, and here's this beautiful, uh, yeah. you know, wow. And then, Gateway Shen Yen Re Dang Jel. Each one of them made their teachers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they gelled mm. with the. <laughs> they, they met, joyful friend. They met the Dharma. They met the Holy. They met this the Ray more. Um, I think it modifies the the shit Oh, yeah. they, they met several. They met their teachers. I would say that. Yeah, they, they each met. They, it, well, you could say each met their heart lama. Uh, each met their heart lama. Well, what are you? What is the Ray doing? Each. Each met. Each met their heart lama. Okay. Okay. Gel, gel means to meet. Okay. Encounter. Meet up with, uh, and then got by, by the kindness. kindness. Yeah, of and then f- by because of the kind from the kindness of that teacher. Yeah. Korwai, it changed yeah. Samtar into something. Awesome. Now this Yingyur means uh, from. they started to get fed up with Samsara. Uh, okay. Okay. Right. Uh, they're they're 
you can translate it as their perception of samsara changed. Mm-hmm. You but know, not into they stopped body. thinking it was a good place to be. Mm-hmm. If, if I just had a good car, this would be okay. <laughs> you know, uh, they, so Yingyur is a, is an ancient idiom, which means mind change, but it means Nyanju. Uh, wow, cool. Uh, it's an old it's an old word for uh, mm-hmm. renunciation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they they say mm-hmm. I got to get out of here. They got Goa and they got Sumba. They got fed up and they got hassled. <laughs> yeah. Sumba uh, Mache means uh, I hope I didn't bother you, Rama, when I asked you to get up early and do this email. Okay. Sumba Sumba Mache means uh, I hope I didn't bother you. Okay. That's a Sumba. Okay. Sumba Mache. Sumba Sumba. Okay. Sumba. And it's it's not very it's high it's high language. Not not many even young monks would know it, would know it. Oh. Okay. Uh, Jawin and Kuala Yingyur, so they, their mind, they started to think differently about the <laughs> Yingyur, about Sansara. Uh, and uh, also, something else happened to them. Sewakit. <laughs> they, they, they became loving. Yeah, love started to come in their heart mm. about everybody. Sen Jen Kun Lang. This is yeah. misspelled. In this case, long being for or about? Uh, a, yeah, towards. Towards. Yeah. And, and, and the implication is, dark uh, dan sen jen tam jen la. Self exchanging. Oh. Yeah, in the second line, yeah. they got fed up with samsara for themselves. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in the Real. next line, oh, and they started to say, oh, everybody else has this problem. Uh, mm-hmm. So then they started to feel love for other people also. Um, oh. Okay, oh, um, wow. okay. Mm-hmm. towards other people also. They started to feel, oh, wow, they're also, they're also having trauma here. Mm-hmm. It's not just me had to cook a turkey last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 350 million people. Yeah, it's really hard. I don't know what happened. I think I was just really tired, you know. Yeah, and I wanted to go to bed and I... I was like, oh, man. Okay, anyway, say okay, Nick. Chanju to Tukke. In their heart, their heart arose love. High honorific for... Oh, Ming Jai. Uh, yeah, compassion. Tukke. It's not J. Oh, high honorific for mine. Senke. Senke. Just got to shave off that beard, man. Senke. Okay. This is high honorific for Bodhicitta. Oh, high, okay. high, high word for bodhicitta. Okay, we don't say semke, chitta. Uh, we use the high, high polite word. What's the English for holy bodhicitta? Yeah, I don't know. Good luck. Uh, mm-hmm. They, they started to feel their high love for other, their high desire to save the world or something like that. I don't know. It's a real problem. Sleep for a long time. Watch a good movie. I do yoga and then decide. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> they 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 have a take for chamber so don't get dumb. And here's the here's the punchline. Okay. They have a take chin so don't. These vows. Yeah. This kind of <laughs> one day Mahayana vow. So don't dumba. She means they undertook it. Mm. Oh, you know, <laughs> they also <laughs> accepted it. Mm. Uh, it's like the B Z H E D, which means to accept a philosophical p- position. Oh, okay. You see, yeah. they they agreed. You see, uh, to undertake this, they they put themselves under this vow. It mm. kind of means that you know they they also put themselves under this vow. It means they submitted to this vow. Okay, <laughs> it's like this is a difficult vow, but because of their strong motivation, they decided to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and not only did they share it, they sung it. Uh, they gave it? Ah, uh, come on. Kept it. Yeah. kept it. Yeah, they kept it. Oh, Honored it. Protected it, I guess. They, okay, sung means to protect. Yeah, 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 this yeah. spelling, like chusung means dharma bala, dharma protector. But young dhapwa sung, so they uh, kept it. Well, oh, perfectly. Well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correctly. Yeah. They so they, well. they took it, she, she, and they kept it perfectly. Oh. That way. And that's what made them a Buddha. So why not you? Yeah. Why not me? Okay, so that'd be a nice talk to give those last few, what we did today.
Yeah, it'd before, be a nice subject for before you explaining the vowels, right? Yeah, yeah. I think, but it's up to you. I think the flow is nice. It's your class. Uh, I find that if I think about it on the airplane, I have some inspiration. Cool. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna add this sentence to the last one. Okay. And uh, they they um, they took this vow. They kept it well, and they continued to love the lam. To teach the path? No. Okay. Speak the path? Practice. Practice? Practice. Oh, Practice. Train it, like labasum, the uh -huh. three training. Three training. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, they continued to train themselves in the path, and then they sang Gepard. They buddha buddha yeah. yeah, this pa makes it. Uh, it's buddha they got yeah. They got enlightened. Oh, yeah, we could. This pa makes it a verb. They, they Buddhaized. <laughs> Would these have been arhats who returned? I'm, so, I'm sorry? Would these be arhats who were returning to become Buddhas? Uh, he does, I don't know, he doesn't mention that. I, I don't know. I, generally, we, we object to the idea of returning. Uh -huh. You know, I mean, in the Mahayana, we say, yeah. you, you don't return anywhere. You become a Buddha and then your body emanates in samsara uh -huh. for people. But you don't. You're still in your Buddha paradise. It's your tuku that comes back to samsara, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not. We had it in Kamalashila yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so it's fresh. In, yeah. I was thinking of hitting on us too. Uh, how would a Hinayana person interpret it? They might say that. Yeah. Is that Yin doing something to the tense of? Uh, you can say they are people who got enlightened by practicing the path because they kept their vows well after having taken them. You know, you can you can read it that way. It, you can say they are people who got enlightened. Okay, okay. thank you. Mm. Okay, and now this is the expected phrase: "Deshin to dak yikyang." And you as well. Or yeah, me too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, me too, the same way. Deshin, do, okay, in the same way. Me too. Uh, I've encountered the teacher. Yeah, I have. Now let's go to the second line. Uh, yeah. Is that come, come, dear, say come, dear. Come, come dear. So it, it's this so time. heavy, prenasal, you lose the B and you get an M. Come, dear. Come, dear. Come, dear. Come, dear. Come, dear. Come, dear. Anyway, come dear. Come dear. Uh, now, now at this at this point in my life, come dear. Mm -hmm. At this point in my life, mm -hmm. okay, cup means point or a situation or mm -hmm. days in my life. At this point in my life, I have gel. I made a connection yeah. with. Yeah, I have met. Uh, <coughs> I have met the Tepe Chu. The Mahayana Dharma. Yeah, I have met the, the Mahayana the Dharma mm -hmm. through the garden. And Kudrin is a very odd um, variant. variant of Kudrin. Yeah, uh, Kudrin. Through, the, through the kindness of my, the body of my holy life. Yeah, it, it, mm -hmm. it means that, but I suspect it started as a misspelling. Oh. Uh, okay, <laughs> but you should it. put it in your... It's I mean, Kudrin. <laughs> is, uh, I suspect. I can't confirm it. But, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I bet if you, after Phil and uh, Joel and whoever else is going to work on the relational database, we can pinpoint when these variants started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could say, oh, in 1214, you know, That's this guy misspelled it. Yeah. <laughs> and then by 1350, you know, 10% of people were spelling it that way. And you can do an analysis. Mm -hmm. And that's what my people like my Sanskrit teacher's lineage, that was their shtick, mm -hmm. was statistics. And, but on cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, it was uh, big data on cards, mm -hmm. and that's how they understood translation. So anyway, when did Kujin start? I don't know, but it's a, it's a pain in the butt if you don't know. Okay, so uh, due to the kindness of their spiritual friend, uh, no, due to the kindness of my spiritual friend, uh, I've here at this point in my life, I've been able to meet the Mahayana Dharma. And I have Chang Chang Chuk Tu Senke. I've developed Bodhicitta. Yeah, I have 
I have, you know, <laughs> made some desire to save the world. And uh, lam la la, but na. And, and it, I'm sorry, this is conditional. Maybe if I, I were to... Train myself in uh-huh. the If I were to get bodhicitta, yeah, uh-huh. and if I were to train myself in the yeah. path, then never. But definitely, definitely, definitely uh-huh. reach the state of a Buddha. Yeah, told right. new. I I will be able, able to. I'll be able to do that. Uh, I would be able to reach the state of. Oh wow, this is getting more and more beautiful. Okay. Uh Tetanang, uh, even though that's the case, okay, if I were, you know, to get bodhicitta, and if I were to practice, you know, I could reach Buddhahood, okay? Even, even, even given that, even though that's true, then this is uh, dividing, these are three classic divisions of the Buddhist, of your Buddhist career. Mm-hmm. of your Buddhist career, okay? Uh, she, here, foundation, and this, and this comes in Tantra a lot, this uh-huh. concept of your Buddhist career, mm-hmm. your career as a Buddhist. Mm-hmm. She means your, she. your original condition, uh-huh. the original way you start sure. out. So in that sense, it's foundation. Do they translate as basis sometimes? People do, but <laughs> it, it means the way you started out. Your original condition, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, the way you were in the beginning, mm-hmm. beginninglessly. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. right. She, right. And then there's the car- time in your Buddhist career while you're practicing, the first oh, four oh, paths, oh, the oh, first oh, four oh, paths. Oh, you know, you, right. are, you, are, you are working uh, you. on your spiritual practice, on the mm. path. And then there's the period in your career when you're at the devil. The results. results. You're at the result. You're bu- you became you're, Alice and Buddha. Buddha. Mm-hmm. Okay. At so, the result. Yeah, yeah. It it means the fruit, uh, or the the result, the goal. At the goal. I like to translate it as at the goal. At the goal. Mm-hmm. At the goal. Uh, Make up means all of those periods in your career. Mm-hmm. All of those three periods in your career. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you're talking about before you became a Buddhist, mm-hmm. the zillions of lives, or the lifetimes in, in which you became a Buddhist and you practiced the path, or you know after that when you were at the goal. It doesn't matter which period of those three you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Something's going to be true. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or not simple. Uh, Medu <laughs> is a, is exactly equivalent to synquanon. Uh-huh. So this is a Latin word uh, that's used in English sometimes by weird people like me and Phil, who are a certain age. So sin in sin in uh, Spanish also sin yellow. Sin yellow. No, no ice, please. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Senor. so sin in Spanish and Latin means without. It doesn't mean sin. It doesn't mean bad deed. It means without. Yeah, yeah. Sinqua means which. Non means nothing. And it's a legal word. Sinqua non. It means, in, 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 in normal English, we say absolute necessity. Absolute yeah. necessity. But that's a, that's a, that's a dupa and not a gappa. Oh yeah, that's a positive thing. It's a and the, the correct term is a double negative, uh-huh. uh, without, without which, which nothing. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So this is also an idiom in English, without which nothing. It means you, you can't do without it. You cannot, you cannot do without it. And it's a beautiful expression if you catch it that way. You know, if you say it that way, 
You can think you can do without this thing, but you can't. Uh -huh. You can't get anywhere without this. Uh -huh. We almost say that. You know. Kershaw, what? it's a one minute. Come on. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but these these guys. They, uh, we started to, late. They they they, yeah, we did, but we have they to have get. They have to leave and take it nine. Yeah, they have to, they have a final to they go and take it nine. And just finish really? it as fast yeah. as you guys can, and then come back up. Um, okay, so don't worry about your grade. Just let's go <laughs> fast. <laughs> <laughs> let's go fast. Let's try to finish this paragraph. Right. Can yeah, we do yeah, that? Yeah, fine. Can we finish this paragraph? Our grade is, is hardcore about moving down there at nine for their final. We can. Uh, they got sixteen early. minutes. Okay, right, here we, we can go. Can leave early? Leave earlier. Oh, leave later. After no. no. Captain <laughs> Jedu, uh, what is that? Uh, I think this is misspelled. You can check. I think it should be M. Okay. Uh, uh, I th although it's they're both prenasal, and that maybe or or I don't know. Maybe it's a variant. And I I I somebody do a vote. Okay. Anyway, this is nice. If if you guys really learn, then I can just say do a vote. Let yep. let me know what, how it turns out. <laughs> uh, zashe zashe means uh, zashe kitsou means your best friend. Your best friend. Your best friend. Okay, your main friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's your main friend that you cannot do without? Okay, whether it's before you become a Buddhist, uh -huh. or during the Buddhist, or after you become a Buddha, who's your best friend? All the whole, your whole history of your mental extreme. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. who's your best friend? Dichi leg some tamche kanai to me yishin nobo. Who is the wishing jewel? Who is the Aladdin's lamp uh, from which comes all the good, all the good things there could ever be, whether you're talking this life or future lives? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who is that jewel? Uh, well, he's gonna say something different. Toma uh, mepane. The Mao is uh, ahead thirteen hundred. Sorry, fourteen hundred to one thirty. Yay! So I can take this question mark off. Okay. Uh Dichi Lesson Tang Dino. Toma Mepane Korwe Chitta Mazoki Pandu. Uh from the beginning from beginningless time. Toma Mepane. Uh and until the endless Chitta Mazok until we finally reach the end of this sansara. Chima Chimeta means the, the final end. Uh, okay, the final end, final end. until it is wrapped up, zo, yep. <laughs> pardu, until that Until moment, then. okay. Ching uh, Ki Kyang, who have paid me such kindness, past tense, and who continue to pay me such kindness, Kyung Wa Gyun, okay, who is that? Ma Gen. My elder, yeah, I guess Mama. Oh. My mother, it's probably my mother's. Right? My oh. eight, my my old mother. mother's. Oh, your mother's. mother's. Yeah. mother's. Which is a mother's. which is a traditional way to talk about all living oh, beings. My aging mother. Yeah, my Stop poor them. elderly moms. It means who I love so much. It yeah. means every being in the universe. Oh, it wow. means every living being in the universe, and it's a it's a bodhicitta word yeah, right. for, for every being in the first, universe. First we don't say Sanchen Tamche. We say Magen Tamche. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. So they have been my mother. They took care of me. Now they're in need. Now they are old. Now it, the implication is that. Now yeah. they are too old to take care of themselves. Now whose job? Okay. It's, a, it's a beautiful expression. There's not, it's not easy to put in English. Mm -hmm. Mother okay. beings. Okay, so, yeah, mother beings is kind of irritating. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, how many mother beings are they? Nam kala kyop. Pervade all space. Yeah. yeah, they cover the universe. Cover the sky. Yeah. They cover, as far as space goes, that, there you will find magans. Okay, okay. <laughs> who have taken care of me in the past and who continue to take care of me. Okay, magan. Yeah. And, and right now, Nyam Takpa is an idiom. Nyam Takpa means they are in a desperate uh, situation mm -hmm. uh, and desperately uh, kind of in trouble. Nyam Takpa means miserable. 
Yeah, but uh, harsher than miserable. They're in a desperate situation. Perilous? That's Nyam Tapak. Yeah, or desperate. Yeah. Mm. They're in a desperate. Nyam is bad. They're in a desperate, bad situation. Nyam Tapak. Okay. Uh, okay, and then we can finish here because it says, now, and Yawar Tor, okay, uh, I mean, this is the past tense of the word door, which means to throw out, like garbage. It's the word for garbage. It's the word for throwing out garbage. And uh, yawar door is an idiom, uh, which means to throw out like garbage, uh, discard like garbage. Uh, who? Your mothers. Yeah, these moms. Like, that's the way I treat them. I just like, I don't, who needs you? In English, we say, who needs you? You know, you know, we have dumped them like a you know, high school girlfriend. Or boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just like, poop. Oh, you go away now. Uh, okay, you okay, You okay? Yeah, yeah. We might show uh, these guys go pretty. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a good place to stop. Okay. <laughs> well, of course, we're not going to. Like now, that's what I used to do. And now I'm going to take the one day mile. That's the motivation, okay? But we need to go another paragraph, probably. Okay? By the way, why is Ta Chang She Tabu in red here? Because that's what you used to search to find this text? That's what I searched to find the text. Because this is the horse that reads your mind. Uh, and it comes only in this book. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, or it's, it's extremely rare. I, I mean, it's not very common. I, f I used it to find the book. Because I remember the expression. Chang uh, means chiang. Ship means uh, they know whatever you're thinking. Wow. Okay, the horse who knows whatever. <laughs> okay, and it means that I should serve people like that. Mm -hmm. I should anticipate oh. what they need. Uh, I should do what they need before they can, before they even think about it. Mm -hmm. I should do what they need. Uh, and this is a special horse that can read the rider's mind. The, the rider thinks, I would like to turn left now. Mm -hmm. And the rider doesn't have to pull anything, the horse just goes left. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that we should serve people that, what do you call it? Effortlessly. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's gonna come very soon. Cool. Here we go. The bells ringing. Thank you. <laughs> Very welcome. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah.